right, so this is Kenny Santos. I'm still on the cruise. Finally made it to Gibraltar. What I want to talk about today is this, are the biggest lies that presenters and public speakers tell themselves that prevent them from speaking, um, especially doing presentations and whatnot. First lie is this, is that they think that they need better equipment in order for them to present. They think that better equipment makes them better presenters. So if they have a better PowerPoint or if they have a better microphone, they're going to be a better presenter. Now, whether you're doing a one-on-one -on -one presentation or whether you're doing a group presentation, your equipment ultimately matters about this much hardly even matters at all um, you know when it comes down to it if you're just a bad presenter it's not gonna work out if you have bad content it's not gonna work out at all which brings us to our second point is that the content is the only thing that matters and you know what while content is super important it's your delivery of your content uh, content that matters you can have some really interesting content however if you don't know how to present it then your audience is just gonna fall asleep. You gotta be able to present with a lot of confidence. And the third one, and this is probably the biggest one, the biggest one that most network marketers stop themselves from doing presentations, from prospecting, is that they think they need to be perfect. They think that their prospects and their audience want them to be perfect, and that couldn't be further from the truth. The best presenters are the most likable. One of my, Man, actually, I'm not going to mention his name, all right? But one of the best presenters I've ever seen was very unpolished. He would drop the dry eraser marker, and he would take his time bending down and getting it up. He'd groan. He'd be like, oh, here we go. Oh, let's start all over again. He'd do this sort of thing, and he was so much more relatable than the polished guy in front of the room that's wearing the suit and tie. You don't have to be perfect. All you have to do is be likable. you got to be raw, real, and relevant. So whether you want to do a video just like I'm doing, and you notice, if you look at my videos from, I don't know, however many years ago, you notice that I try to make them perfect. And I used to take so many takes, 10 takes, but now it's rare that I even do two takes. If, if a bell goes off in the background, or you know what, they're playing soccer over here, they're making a little bit of noise. If any of that happens, I still keep rolling because in the end, all of that doesn't matter. And remember this, is that people buy from those that they know like and trust and it might sound pompous for me to say but there's a lot of people that have never even met me that like me because I am doing videos on a regular basis so what I invite you to do is you do videos and you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be polished if you do see I'm not gonna erase that see I don't know if you heard that that horn I'm not gonna erase that you don't have to be perfect you don't have to do perfect takes you don't have to you could stumble you could you could say the wrong things and correct yourself none of that even matters all you gotta do is you just gotta go ahead and do it. And the moment you start doing a video a week or a video a day, you just give yourself a couple months and you're just gonna be so much more comfortable in front of the camera or if you're doing presentations every single day and the first couple, may you may do terribly, but who cares? In the end, it's how good you get, not how good you start with. No one cares what the score is at halftime. Everyone cares about what the score is at the end of the game. So I trust you got some awesome value out of this. What I invite you to do is this, is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. You can put your name and email in. You're going to get an awesome audio and growing your business. And remember this, every single day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. And all we got to do is recognize them and accept them. All right, take care. Create a great day.